All right, it's been a while. A few people have been asking me to do a rundown on this new website I've built, dcbatcowls.com. Link is in the description. Check it out. So I'm going to, have to do a run through. What I've been building is part of the DC NFTs, part of Candy Digital. You have lots of features on this website. First one, straight in the face here, is rarity. Lots of people have back cows, and the roadmap that Candy talked about didn't mention anything about rarity calculator or anything like that coming. Uh, so I built it, saw a, thing, saw a lot of things I didn't like. Uh, so I thought I'd build some of the community. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, just add your back cowl. There's a button at the top there, and I'll explain it in a few minutes on what to do and how to do it. So on the first page here, you've got the DC logo top left, back cowls, navigation at the top. You do have a Web3 connector wallet on the top right here. That'll be used later on as development happens and Web3 integration happens as we get our keys. Can't be mentioning my keys on the actual program, but yeah, hopefully we get our keys and we'll be able to connect our back cows to this website, to this application. But yes, on the front page here, you've got the back cow logo. All the cows that get added to the website get a calculation on rarity. It's unbiased. It's based on the different traits and how many traits and materials available within each cow and all the different variations. And based on that, the calculations made. There's no extra weighting on the calculation. I know some people would like more weightings based on, I don't know, force field or spikes or rebreather or some other feature. It doesn't do that. It's just basic based on the amount available on all the different traits available and the calculation is made on that. So that's that with the calculation. So your first page, you're greeted with 100 back cowls on the front page. So if you have a desktop, really cool to check out on the desktop, scroll through the different back cowls, uh, click into them, have a look at them in more detail. We'll do that in a minute. You'll see ranging from all types. Most of the people have added a back cow here. Um, I know through the network from back cows. Um, yeah, make sure you do add yours if you would like to add yours. If you haven't added yours, uh, please do that. So yeah, it takes a while to scroll through 100 of them. It works on mobile. So if you need to use mobile by, most of the time, do bring up dcbackcows.com on your mobile and be able to view the back cows uh, via that. So that's it. There's only two pages. So there's about, I think, 103 back cows so far uploaded on the website. Feel free to add yours. There are over like 11,000 back cows rather than adding each one individually. Um, the ones added are people who are actively engaged and um, interacting. So please do add yours. One of the great things about this uh, Rarity City you can search. So if you just do black um, mat, there you go, you'll see all the black mats that have been uploaded to the um, website. Uh, you can search for anything on the materials. Uh, one of the great features about the rarity is the secret button here as well. If you click the Batman logo or you click this menu here, it'll pop out filters. So here, you can add filters like name. So we can sort based on the name of the cow, uh, background. So uh, death of the family, harsh, flashpoint, etc. Cow design. So you've got 1996, uh, starting from here. Then we'll go down. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's keep scrolling. And yeah. Now we're getting into the 1989 cows, and then the last one's going to be all the way down the bottom for the 2009 cows. You get the idea. Lots of different filters. You can always just clear it back here, reset it, and go back to normal. So lots of different filters available to you. Um, yeah, 
it's really fun to explore that in detail and have a look at some of the things that are out there. If you want to look at a cow, you just click a cow you'd like to see. On desktop, it's really good that you get to see it in full screen. One of the things that I didn't like with the candy viewing the BAP cows, you don't get to see it in full uh, resolution. So they're in HD, one day we'll get the 4K versions back again. But for now, we get to see a bit more wider on desktop mode, which is one of the major uh, features that I'd like in having a bat cow. So you've got the badges there. You can screenshot them, do what you like with them. Interesting thing with this, you can take off the badges with these buttons. You can change it from the circle background to the normal. One of the powerful features of this website is the analytics. If you click the analytics button here, it will bring up the analytics of your bat cow. It'll give you the name of your bat cow, the calculation, 100% is the uh, highest rarity. So the higher you are to 100, 62.08%, which is fairly high. Um, uh, color coordinated towards like legendary, epic, rare. So if you look at the colors, it'll give you an indication. All the other details of the cow type, the background, the lighting are all there and it shows the rarity. You've got the Batman logo, didn't really have that on the cows. I think that's kind of essential. And also one of the main things is I never know what um, area of Gotham I'm from. So the first thing I liked about this, it'll do the calculation and it'll tell me, oh, here's my uh, sigil. I'm from Tricorner, which is really good. This is a three material cow. Uh, it displays the three different materials here. Low profile jaw, mass domino there. If we actually go back to um, the main screen, and we go into Jake's one, this will give a little bit more with the um, uh, analytics. So you've got the network communication on the left, uh, network, network communication on the right, and the bat sense infrared receptor. And that's the highest rank cow was 79.15% from Chinatown. So yeah, it's got all those features that you can do. Take a screenshot, keep it, save it. Cool to find out uh, some more features about the cow. Um, so yeah, that's a run through of the rarity and some of the features of it. One powerful feature that I've not seen for a while is these bat cows are integrated into the storyline with AI. So you'll use the features that you have in your uh, bat cow once you've added them, and you can start playing this game called Start the Escape Game. It's an AI based uh, narrative storyline. So once you're doing that, it'll take the details of your bat cow and it will throw you into the storyline based on your bat cow. And we have choices so it's not just a storyline it's interactive so you tells you, you wake up in a dimly lit room your eyes adjust to the darkness you realize you're wearing a bat cowl charcoal mat so it knows the vinyl yellow accents it's, and it knows the the features of the cow and you hear the cackles through well 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 and the joker is there and, and it also knows you're from chinatown uh it integrates part of the storyline of batman with the arkham asylum it's really really cool um, choices is based on your decision you can win the game you can win if you make the right decisions based on your choice one of the things I wanted to do with this one is no two stories will ever be the same so the story that you will face and the story that I will face will be completely two different stories so play along with the Joker's game refuse to cooperate I gonna do I refuse to Cool. All right. So in this one, you can put like one or two. You can just talk normally back to uh, the story and click ha ha ha. That's the button to submit. And what it will do, it will take our answer, send it back into the storyline. And based on that, boom, we have a reply. And also here, this is an AI generated image based on the storyline and based on your decisions. So yeah really uh immersive really powerful storylines 
something extra that we can do with our uh, back cows that we couldn't do previously. Do check it out. Enjoy it. Uh, no two stories are the same. Let me know what story you came up with, whether you enjoyed it. Maybe show me what you didn't like. What would you like to be improved? And look, a new character involved, Catwoman. I mean, imagine that. We can add in so many different characters, so much different different integration here. So then what do we do now? What should we do? Agree to play the Joker's game, attempt to escape your restraints, call out to Catwoman for help. I mean, do we call out to Selina? Should we say, um, let's do call, call out to Catwoman. Let's see, let's see if Catwoman's gonna help me. I don't know, man, I don't, I don't know if I trust her, but let's see what she does. I know, this could go on forever, so I don't wanna spend too much time on taking on the options. And yeah, what is it? Ra's al Ghul, Tali al Ghul. Yeah, for Middle Warrior and Harrow, I thought my. Yeah, the story gets deep. Plead with Tyler to help you escape, offer Catwoman, deal with the to store all the time. Yeah, it's incredible. I really enjoyed it. Um, do check it out. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Yeah, so that is the storyline part of DCBatCows.com. Uh, if you look at all the different traits in the bat cow, you're like, oh, what do I, how do I find out how many of each different trait? Go to the trait section. It will show you a list, all the different traits that are available. It'll tell you how many in each area. So we go to background. Um, if you scroll down the bottom, there are 20 different traits. It shows you under the hood is the most rare. Death in the family is the most common. It shows you that amount. You can also search on the main page for the back cast to see which one has a particular trait that you might be interested in. So yeah, that's that. Um, you go into the different materials. Again, I uh, see you're searching for a particular one, Justice uh, Blue. Uh, let me see, well, you know, the, the three different types, resin, metallic, and you can find the information there. Really, really handy. Um, helps to find information really quickly. Uh, yeah, so one of the last things is a new feature that got added today is battle. So battle of the bat cows. New feature, uh, you vote on the bat cow that you prefer as your favorite between the two. This vote gets collected into the database and it goes towards the leaderboard the one cow with the most votes will win. And also the winner will be displayed on this page as well. And it'll reset every month. So do check it out. Vote for the cow that you think is cool. Um, take your time, enjoy. You can just, um, yeah, go on for a while, but you get the drift. I tend to like pick my cows, which one? I'm gonna pick my cow, law to it. So don't take it too personally, it's subjective. But yeah, and then the, the leaderboard gets updated with the votes. You get to see them there. Count down on the timer. Really, really good. Works on desktop, works on mobile. You can search all traits, AI integration, analytics, uh, full image, customizable badges. Incredible, incredible um, test of features. If you'd like to add your cow, you just click this button here, it opens up a post on, on X, just put a link to your cal from Candy, just paste it in, and then, yeah, it will be added to the main page with the 100 plus cows that are already added on the website. So yeah, if you have any questions, shoot them over on X, or leave them in the comment on this video Hope you all are well. Hope you're enjoying this. Feel free to suggest anything you'd like to see going forward. I'm out. Peace.